Apple Card is the credit card created by Apple. You earn 3% daily cash back up front when you use it to buy a new iPhone 15, AirPods, or any products at Apple. And you can automatically grow your daily cash at 4.15% annual percentage yield when you open a high-yield savings account. Apply for Apple Card in the Wallet app on iPhone. Apple Card subject to credit approval. Savings is available to Apple Card owners subject to eligibility. Savings accounts by Goldman Sachs Bank USA member FDIC. Terms apply. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Some things are just better together. Like party playlists and Friday nights. Campfires and ghost stories. Peanut butter and chocolate. And Reese's Cups are the perfect combination of creamy peanut butter and delicious milk chocolate. So, when you want something sweet, you can't do better than Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Buy Reese's today wherever candy is sold. Max, the one to watch for the best in entertainment, now has live sports with the Bleacher Report sports add-on. Stream hundreds of select live games from MLB. That's gonna go! NBA, NHL, U.S. Soccer, and NCAA Men's March Madness. And it's all included for a limited time with any Max subscription. He got it. After the promo period, add it for $9.99 a month. Base subscription required. We had a talk about it and we thought we shouldn't always start with the same topic. So we're going to start with the football this time because the football was brilliant. Um, so trust us when you start listening to this. We will get to that and talk about it soon. But we want to start off, Mina, or at least I want to start off. And I'm hosting today, so I get to choose. Yes. With Napoli against Roma. Did you expect this game? I didn't expect this game. We had this this build up to it with Jose Mourinho saying, look, they've already won the title and that's right, they're the best team. And, you know, Mourinho, mind games, whatever. But in the end, I felt like Roma gave them a great game, but also still left us thinking, yeah, Napoli are the best team in the league, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, (laughs) I loved it. Like, I just thought this is kind of the Roma that I expected to watch. And for me, that was a very, I know Jose Mourinho is always linked with a very defensive side. But he, it's that side, that kind of side that works hard, that runs a lot, that has a great outlet in Stephen Al Sharawi. And it was just for me, like they made this game so much fun. Even the last moments where you, you didn't know if they were going to get that equalizer and make it 2 2. I mean, ugh, there's so many superlatives that I can talk about when it came to Napoli from Osman to, to Giovanni to Simeone, which I'm sure you'll go into. But it was honestly one of the best matches. And right now, when I'm feeling really low about Serie A, I'm really glad for this game. I think exactly what you said, you kind of hit the nail on the head there for me, which is, I, it's like I want to talk about celebrating Napoli because they're the best team in Serie A. It's not close. Like, and that's what Mourinho's point was before the game. He was saying, like, this, it's not just that Napoli are, are, are ahead, it's that no one's playing well enough to keep up with them. They are just better than everyone. Having said that, what made this game interesting was not that Napoli were brilliant, because Napoli were brilliant often. It was Roma. Roma made this game interesting by showing up. And, and as you said, especially in that second half, and, you know, that, that sort of thing where it, it really felt to me in that second half, it was, and this is almost, I think, what, what I love best about Mourinho when Mourinho is good. When Mourinho is good, he gets teams doing this. Mourinho's Roma, much like Mourinho's Inter when they went to Barcelona, they knew they weren't as good as as Napoli. They, nobody was watching that game and thinking these teams are, are technically equal. I mean, you look at the goal that Osman scores off the bat with Kvaritz Gelli's assist, all of the little movement that goes into that, even Mario Rui's contribution to the build-up, but especially, of course, Osman, chest, thigh, instep, roof of the net, spectacular. You know who the better team is here. But Roma just refused to accept it, refused to lie down and stand there, you know, like the, the fighter in the ring who won't, who won't stop taking punches and starts throwing them back. And then Zalewski pulls out this cross, which is a really lovely cross, by the way, really, really well judged 
well weighted across the back post. In mezzo, morbido, nuovo pallone in mezzo a cercare Pellegrini e poi il piazzato con il movimento di El Sharawi sul secondo palo, il pareggio della Roma. And El Sharawi, who's almost a forgotten figure of Italian football, I feel like he's been around forever and he's only 30 and he's you know not ancient, but I feel like I still remember him as this kid bursting onto the scene and, and oh wow, he's going to be the next thing for Italy. But showing up and, and putting that ball home at the back post and yeah, I, I think I think there was a a real moment where the game could have gone either way. I think even at that point, Roma didn't sort of say, okay, we'll we'll take the draw. It was it was one swing after another from from each of them. And yeah, I really, I really loved the way Roma played this game. I I, I was I was high on Mourinho for the first time in in perhaps a while, I guess. Yeah, it was one of those games where you're like, oh, that's the Mourinho that I remember, you know, the guy that would really make every game a battle, make it really interesting. Um, and you know me, I'm always partial to a strong defense and a great ability to just all of a sudden go vertical, you know. And I just, I guess I've never really been that fascinated with Roma since he's taken over. Like he's done a great job in the sense that he won the Conference League. And I think that he's doing the best that he can. He's had obviously a few injuries as well, but this game is interesting because you mentioned Stephen Shrawi, yeah? It's starting to, he makes a difference. He is a player now that I think that Mourinho can really count on to make the difference going forward, especially considering that we've got to talk about this a little bit later on, what's going on with Nicola Zaniola, right? Because he's no longer an option for them to bring mm. on. And in this match, there was, yes, I think it is the Osman, like this guy, I, I, you know, we're talking top five. I'm thinking now top three. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what he is, but he is just, this incredibly intelligent, technically gifted, everything you can imagine. And such a good guy, the way that he celebrated Simeone's goal as well, that winner, the way that he was going mad at the end. It's, it's interesting because I thought Napoli was so good because Napoli are just so good. And yet I thought there was the room to be a lot better. Like there was a part of me that was almost mm-hmm. disappointed in Napoli because there was that brilliant Lozano counterattack. Did he make the wrong decision? Would I have also gone for that shot? Was, wasn't it Kim that was on the right that I think was in a better position? Occhio allo sano. C'è anche Kim che potrebbe partecipare all'azione. C'è anche Guarascaglia. Va con il destro. Rui Patricio. Rui Patricio allunga il calcio d'angolo. Then the, the, the Kravatskelia when it was like this beautiful like layoff almost from Osman. And it was like a bad ta- uh, a bad touch by Kravatskelia which you can never ever imagine him ever having but it was just like the wrong time. But yeah, there's this other thing about Napoli, which is like, all right, I'm going to change the entire front line, bring on these other players and watch or like watch us dazzle. I think the Simeone thing in particular is so extraordinary, Mina, because he, he literally has not started a league game for them since he signed. So you're talking about someone who last season at Verona was this sort of brilliant, sort of shining beacon on a team that was going horrendously, on a team that was in a, you know, a, a season long miserable, unhappy fight at the bottom of the table. Uh, it's got 17 goals, started 32 games, and he makes his move to Napoli. And who knows what he expects in terms of arriving in Napoli? Because you know Victor Osman's there. You know you're not going to be like the, the top guy and, and, and you know that there's going to be competition. He might have expected to start a bit more. He started one game in the Coppa Italia. He started two games in the Champions League. Other than that, it's all sub-appearances, 14 sub-appearances. And yet you don't get even this tiny hint of, I'm annoyed with my lot. You get seven goals off the bench, four in the Champions League, three in the league. You get this winning goal here and you get someone brilliantly taken by the one. I mean, yes, Smalling was, was too loose, but he still turned and finished brilliantly. Quindi la giocata dentro Simeone per il 2-1 Napoli. 85 minuti. Colpisce Simeone. You get like the proper like all-in celebration. And that's the magic, isn't it? That's the magic that wins the league as well. It's having a squad that's willing to accept roles, accept that they don't all get to be the star all the time and, and will grab that moment when they have it. Yeah, precisely. And how many goals does he score that really secure victories, you know, winning header against uh, Milan. Now this one, um, it's just, he's just always, he's become almost clutch. You know, we, we need a goal. Simeone comes on, he's a super sub and, but this team just seems to really like each other. <laughs> and I, I love the dressing room harmony. I feel like it would almost be very sad if they didn't win this. And I don't think that we're in danger of that not happening anymore. It's, it's, it's becoming more and more confirmed that, that Napoli win this. I almost want them to forget about this and now focus on winning the Champions League because they've got a great chance of doing something magical there. Arriva il 
fischio finale il Napoli vince un'altra partita lo fa attraverso anche un po' di sofferenza perché la Roma ha giocato una signora Hey gang, just wanted to let you know that you can now get a free 14 day trial of our Chronicles Defosi Patreon membership Subscribe now for free for 14 days to get access to all of our full episodes, solo minisodes, bonus content, even behind the scene bonuses like our chats about football and of course our chats about life in general. You can also get the entire bank catalogue of Serie A Chronicles content. So head over to seriachronicles.com forward slash Patreon and subscribe to the Chronicles Fosie membership for free. Sports Social Podcast Network. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Jumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Jumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.